Hello, hello. Welcome to Shitty Way. I'm Marilyn, and today we have auction bags. Hope everybody's doing well. I am improving. Thank you so much to everybody who sent well wishes and prayers. I really, really appreciate it. Each day I'm getting a little better. I still have a little bit of laryngitis, but it is getting better. I did go to the doctor. Um, I said it was just a summer cold as I thought, um, but all is well. So thanks again. It was really, really helpful and definitely was so sweet of everybody. I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name's Marilyn. My husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms, but first we bring everything to you and show you here on YouTube. And we offer everything to you at a discounted price. Um, below here, our video here, uh, is um, in the detail section or description area. We do have details on how to purchase. You just send us an email to one Shady and Y and we will send you a PayPal invoice. You do not need a PayPal account to pay the invoice. One thing I want to be sure if you are looking at past videos, chances are um, it's already been sold. However, um, if you are looking at a past video, I need the title that's right below here, okay, of the video. If it is the next day after 2 p.m., if you go to the first comment, I have a sold list, and that sold list has a date of that video, and that will tell you um, where to give me the information. I need a timestamp, a date, and the video, uh, uh, name because we do quite a bit of videos and they all start looking alike to us <laughs> so be sure to do that and I said we don't take um, it in our comments we just uh, we don't take orders in our comments we just take them in our emails uh, one shading y at gmail.com so this is two uh, auction bags um, one is sterling and the mixed metals I have taken out and the other is two sterling rings, uh, bracelets and one of those sold on a short we did. So these are pretty spectacular. Um, here are the rings that I have for you today. These are wonderful. This is a canary, uh, cerb uh cubic zirconia with, um, cubic zirconia, um, in the band. It's a half band um, with really beautiful cubic zirconia. It is a four-pronged ring. Um, just lovely faceted. Uh, love that canary uh, cubic zirconia. This is a size nine. Yeah, size nine. Um, excellent, excellent condition. It is marked on the inside, um, 925. And I think, let's see. CFJ, and then that's it. Uh, so this one, I am going to do $50. And then this one is a uh, vintage sterling silver um, dragon's breath. Dragon's Breath is man-made. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's considered a man-made opal. And um, I did not realize that, so that was a new one for me. And um, most of the ones that I'm finding, the, um, let's see if you can see it. Uh, it is a little rough cut. If you're used to a polished stone, this is not that. Um, very very interesting this looks like a vintage um native american ring it is not signed though G um generally you would find um a sterling mark on the inside but i'm not seeing one it is sterling i did check it um but the way it is made reminds me of native american um it does have a straight shank and a bent shank um so you can tell right there how um it's meant to uh, flare up. So on this one, I'm going to do $80. This is a size, 
five and a half. No. No, it is a six and a half. And um, a stunning ring. Definitely vintage. Love that um, sterling drops um, surrounding. It is bezel set. Beautiful. Okay, so we are going to push everything over to the side. I do have a new Presidium. Ta-da! I did buy one of the smaller ones because I'm telling you, I have had the, the latest one I had, I purchased a year and three months ago and it bit the dust. I knew it was a problem the minute I took it out of the box and I should have sent it back and I didn't. And if anybody does purchase a Presidium, be sure that it is working excellent, otherwise send it back because they are very, very um, uh, finicky. And if you move them around, um, if you leave them on, if you um, they overheat easy, just be very, very um, careful because they are very, very finicky machines. Uh, let me think if there's anything else. I am going to slip a card in here to let you know about Sunday, July 2nd. We are having a um, collaboration with some wonderful, wonderful um, YouTubers, uh, YouTube creators. Um, it's uh, going to be a lot of fun. Um, so it starts at three o'clock with Kristen D. I'm gonna slip a info card in here so you will be able to see what um, who's involved and what times it is. We will be doing them in premiere. So while they're playing, we will be in the chat talking to you. So hope everybody can join us starting at 3 p.m. on Sunday. And it will run consecutively every 30 minutes after that. So be sure to come on and check us out. Um, I think that's it. So I'm just going to push everything over to the side. And let's just get started. So first off... Um, Let's do these uh, gorgeous gemstone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on our presidium, and then I'll do all the gemstones first. Okay, so this is signed. It's sterling silver. It's by the company Obsidian. Um, it is ster uh, signed sterling. If you are not familiar with the company, um, let me pull us closer to see you there. If you're not familiar with the company, um, it's been in business. It's a husband and wife team. It's been in business for about 25 years. They make extremely gorgeous high-end um, jewelry. And uh, generally, um, and you can still see things, not this exact piece, but something similar to this, is selling in the $600 range on their website. And um, just so you know, that's their mark right there. And this is um, uh, ruby, uh, garnet, onyx, uh, mother of pearl, um, and just stunning. This one might, I, that might be moonstone, but um, it might be mother of pearl too. I think it's mother of pearl. Okay, so let's this so you can see it the things that will test are going to be the ruby so there's the ruby that's this one this one should be garnet there's your garnet and this one should also be garnet I believe Yes. Then the rest of them should not test. So the smallest it can be is about a six and a quarter. And that's on the smallest one. And then it adjusts. And the largest one, I believe, is a seven and a half because this one fits me. Okay, it's a seven and three fourths, and it is gorgeous. Okay, 
love that. So um, on this, I'm going to do uh, $300. Beautiful. Okay, we are going to do the gemstones first, okay? Um, so the next one is also obsidian, okay? Sterling clip-on earrings. These are... I believe these are quartz. Aren't they beautiful? Um, that's what I think they are. Um, and this, I believe, is a jasper. Isn't that pretty? These are fabulous also. Uh, they're clip-on earrings. Um, and these are substantial, okay? These are... An inch and three fourths by about five eighths of an inch, and then they're about three eighths of an inch thick, and they are stunning. And these run um, this type uh, because they are kind of one of a kind, um, but they do make similar ish, you know. So on these on their website looks to be in the 150 range. So I'm going to do these for 75. And then we have these stunners. These are clip-ons also. They are signed. Let me see, where are they signed again? Maybe these aren't signed. I think they, I thought they were. I'm just not seeing it tonight. Um, let me go ahead and test them for us. There's our mark. And there's your blue. These are uh, Laramar. I think that's how you say it. And these are aquamarine. There. These are just stunning to me. And let's go ahead and test that aquamarine. It's faceted. Give me your opinion whether you think these are aquamarine or they're quartz, um, but they're stunning. These are one and three fourths of an inch by about five eighths of an inch by about a quarter inch and um, sterling silver. And then you've got this beautiful um, blue bead here uh, dangling at the bottom. And these I'm going to do uh, 45. And then these are um, wires. I believe this is amber and then um, pearl, pearl. And I believe this is um, amber also. Here is under the black light. We'll see if I need to turn off the light, but let's go ahead and turn off the light. All right, lights off. There's your glow. Wow, is that stunning? <laughs> um, these are marked 925 and also JPP is the mark. I'm not familiar with the company, um, but these are just gorgeous. Um, from the wire down, it is an inch and five eighths by an inch and a quarter by uh, about three eighths of an inch. If you want the bottom of the wire, it is an inch and a quarter. And um, they're just stunning. And on these, I'm going to say, um, let's do 75. 
Okay, the other things that we have to test is this mom um, pendant. It has um, four stones in it. And there you go. We finally got it. Jeez. Okay, so there is a diamond here, 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 and here. Okay, so there's four small diamonds, and um, they are vermeil, uh, sterling silver. It is a um, French rope chain. The chain is 18 inches with the male and the pendant being an inch by about seven eighths of an inch. And on this, I'm going to do um, $35. And the last thing I, oh, there is a diamond on this one also, it looks like. And there you go, it's a diamond. And this one is really pretty with the rose, um, with a diamond and then a rose. And then um, it's just um, faux marcasites. It is a size seven and a quarter, it looks like, um, but a really pretty ring. And on this one, I'm going to do, let's say, uh, $25. I think that's it as far as gemstones go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the Presidium. Okay, so let's go through what else we have. We have this <laughs> marijuana leaf. Um, I believe this is sterling. It says 925, but... Um, let me go ahead and test it for us. So, um, I'd say that's definitely sterling. Okay. There's our blue. This is a size eight and a quarter. Eight, eight and a quarter. And on this one, I'm just gonna say $20. Then we have this Let's see if it says anything. It says sterling spelled out. I'm not sure if I got a good enough scratch, but we will see if we get any blue out of it. And we do, so. And I barely, barely scratched it. So this is a called a C-link chain. This is 24 inches. This is similar to a harem bone, but it is just considered a flat lay chain. Definitely sterling, 24 inches. And if anybody's interested, I will do 25 on that. Really nice weighted nicely. Then we have um, a rope chain, a beautiful um, sterling silver, Mark 925, 925. Um, some of these pieces I've already tested. This is one of them. Uh, this is... 24 inches also, uh, beautiful patina on this, um, nicely weighted also. And on this one, I'm going to do um, $50 if anybody's interested. Then we have um, the um, Lunt um, Sterling Boy. This one's considered a boy. Um, they have a girl, they have a one in pajamas, even though this pajamas too, but the other one that with the pajamas has like uh, 
like a hoodie. Um, this one's with a present. I believe these are ornaments. However, they can sell them as pendants. This is kind of large. Um, it is definitely vintage. Two and a quarter inch by about one and a half inches. And um, these run, it's done on both sides with the front face. And um, it's smiling. Um, just holding the present. I think, as I said, I think they're ornaments. They generally run around $50. So I'm going to do $30 on this one. Then we have an Adirondack chair. Um, it is uh, sterling. I've already tested this one. It's a charm or a pendant. It is, let's get a size about uh, five eighths of an inch by about a half inch by about three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna do just $10 on that one. But it's a cute little Adirondack chair. Nice for the summer. Um, then we have this cute, I mean, first off, I love the bracelet. It is a uh, toggle clasp. It is a thick Rolo chain. And then we have, um, these are enameled. This is a crab, a starfish, a seahorse, and a turtle. It is um, really nicely weighted. Um, sterling also. It is seven inches. And on this one, I'm going to do um, $40 and they're all marked 925 on the back um, each one of them beautiful then we have this little ring I think this is really pretty with the little scallops um, it is um, I'm trying to think if it's I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, scratch all the rest of them um, at the same time and then we'll go through them I am pretty positive these are all sterling. This one does have a coating. Then the earrings. And then the little um, banded agate. Pendant. Yeah, it looks like they're all sterling. All right, we have blue on everything but this one. And I don't see a mark. So let's scratch uh, clean this all off we'll put that one over aside and scratch that one again but let's do this so we have this beautiful orange banded um it is signed taxco on the back there td69925 mexico this is Seven eighths of an inch by about three eighths of an inch. And I'm going to say just 15 on that one. Very pretty. I love that it's a tax co also. We've got this nice scroll ring. Uh, this is tiny. This is only a size three and no, it's a four. Yeah, size four. And on this one, I'm going to do just... Um, Let's do 15 on that one. Sweet. Then we have this one. I love that. I wish it was a little bigger and I'd wear it as a thumb ring. This is a size eight. Um, it's definitely vintage. Um, very cool though. Check it out. You can wear it a square, modernistic. And on this one, um, I'm not seeing any markings on it. 
um, but I'm gonna do 15 on that one. Then we have the earrings, and these are signed 925. Um, beautiful, you can have these um, engraved if you want, but they're very vintage um, style to them. Um, they are about an inch from the top of the wire, and if you're just counting from the earring, it is three eighths of an inch, I mean three fourths of an inch by um, five eighths of an inch. And on these, I'm gonna say 15. Then we have this little ring, which can be a thumb ring or a, um, a midi ring. Love the scrolling on it. It is signed um, Thailand, um, I just did this one, Mark um, Wasserman, I can't remember, um, but a really well-made um, designer ring, and it um, looks like so, and I'm just gonna say 15 on that one, and then we're gonna test this one again. Um, so this one is magnetic. Um, it's a size five. So let's just do a $5 if anybody's interested. Let me clean this off. One thing I did want to let you know, um, as we said, um, this is our anniversary month and we are coming to the end of June. So I wanted to tell everybody about my very last um, special that I have going on. I have five... Um, anniversary bags that are left that comes from our thread up goodwill America's thrift supply everything like that um, I've gotten it from jewelry jars um, all kinds of places but it is generally the stuff from our videos and um, it has been shown on videos but um, I just do the video and then put it right into a bag, never look at it again. Well, I have five more available, and what I'm gonna do is offer them, um, they are the size um, of a padded flat rate, and I'm going to offer them to anybody who wants one for $25, but what the special is, is that I am including with that to our channel a $10 gift card that can be used within the next 30 days. Um, it cannot be used for shipping. It can only be used for merchandise. And um, that's what we have available. Um, five more bags I do have available. Um, shipping is $9 on them and they come in a flat rate, um, padded flat rate bag. And um, they're anywhere where generally from three, um, two and a half to five pounds is generally what I'm finding. Let me know if you're interested. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with us. We appreciate it. If you saw anything that interests you, just send us an email to one shadingy at gmail.com. We'll send you a PayPal invoice. Um, if you haven't already, definitely give us a thumbs up and subscribe below. Thank you again and have a wonderful day. Uh, bye. See you on the next one.